at Juma every single time I drive past this tree. I always look very carefully, hoping that I might see a leopard up in its branches. This is such a magnificent jackalberry. Charles, I'm going to try and find a good booger from a little bit further away because uh, we can booger from far, so I don't need to come that close. Ah, oh, look at that. Absolutely magnificent. That's the postcard pose. Leopard in a jackalberry, bit of light in his face. Yeah, that is magnificent. Look at that. Do you know which my daughter, Charles? Yeah, looks like uh, Pick and my daughter. Yeah, monthly stuff. Hmm, what a view. Like I said, without, ah, uh, look at those long whiskers. Without exaggeration, literally every single time I've ever driven past this tree over quite a few years here, Juma, I've always looked for a leopard up in it. Only seen it once or twice. But this would be the best of all those sightings. Just a big branch splayed out across it. Nice and relaxed and spectacular. Come on, Charles, it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm going to send them to the station in local fair in the state for one more time. Go, Benny. Tell me about the skunk hunt. No, it's a uh, friend of Charles sitting there. Uh -huh. That's from PC, eh? Uh, yeah, maybe Charles from PC, I'm not sure. Go, Benny. So a bit of radioactivity there, but just look at that. Very lucky for us as well. It's left with nice sunlight on its face there. Unfortunately, we don't have a clear idea picture of this male yet. But Charles says he thinks it's the beacon male. I think I agree with him. We'll see if it moves, but it's got that nice reddish color. One of the ways to ID that male. Also, he's got a little bit of sort of almost excess skin. And he's sometimes a little bit shy, but luckily at the moment he's up in the tree. So he's obviously feeling... Very secure there, but oh, what a pose. Now have another look at this tree again. It is a magnificent tree, probably one of the biggest ones here at Juma. And typically you see them on these river run areas on the what we call drainage lines let's look at the size of that trunk compared to the leopard massive tree obviously lots of leaf cover giving nice shade but also it provides this leopard with a bit of a breeze just being that much higher off the ground it gets cooler the further you go away from the surface of the 
of the ground so just that will give it a little bit of retrieve from the heat but then also if there is a bit of a breeze which there's not really at the moment but even the slightest breeze will benefit from it more up there so that's why that leopard is up there at the moment try and keep himself a little bit cooler maybe